My name is Lech Zorn. I'm an actor and screenwriter based here in Indianapolis, and it's great to be here on League One. I have a lot of admiration for the great work they do here in Indiana. I started acting about seven years ago, and since then I've um, gotten progressively more work every year, as well as uh, gotten bigger roles. And in that time, I've done just about every genre possible, comedy, drama, horror, fantasy, you name it. And I, I like it that way. I think that as an actor, you always have to branch out and stretch yourself and get out of your comfort zone to reach your potential. So um, I'm constantly looking to do things that are unique, that are, you know, very much unlike anything I've ever done before. And some of the highlights of my career so far, first of all, as far as getting in front of a big audience, I was in an episode of the National Geographic Channel TV series, How to Survive the End of the World, playing a London banker. That was that was a lot of fun, you know, just seeing myself on national TV and then working with an outstanding director in, in Bill McLean, who shot me in a solo disaster scene when my character uh, was the victim of a natural disaster over in a London bank. And aside from being on TV, there have been, you know, um, roles that I've done that maybe not as prestigious really stretched me as an actor. My personal favorite performance is um, in a short called War of the Broken Soldier, which is available on YouTube. I play the father of a soldier who's committed suicide. And, you know, that was a very challenging scene to, to you know, um, speak it at the funeral of my character's son and make it believable. And hopefully, hopefully it came through in, in a powerful and convincing way. Film, you know, as far as that's... Another film that I really enjoyed early in my career was a six-episode web series called Between Heaven and Hell, in which my daughter and I actually play father and daughter, so that, that was a lot of fun. And that was actually her acting debut, and that's a, that's a supernatural thriller that's also on YouTube. More recently, I play a psychiatrist in a very powerful and unconventional supernatural thriller titled Obscurity. I examine a child who's recently exhibited some strange behavior, and that was made by a, a local uh, filmmaker, a very promising young prodigy named Ashton Gleckman, who co-wrote the film as well as directed and uh, wrote the music for it. That's available on DVD as well as in YouTube. It just debuted a few weeks ago. And as far as the science fiction genre, I recently made uh, what I guess would be considered my sci-fi debut in a film called Galactic Stones, where I play a spaceship officer. And I have a nice dual scene with an, uh, Nathan Canada, who's starting to get a lot of work here in Indiana acting. And uh, coming up in a few months, I'm really excited. Um, it's my feature-length screenwriting debut. It's a drama titled 80s Metal Star, in which I'm playing the title character, an 80s metal star who's struggling in the present day and trying to come to terms with his past personal and professional failures and discover what's most important in his life. Another gig from my past that was a great experience for me is a TV series titled Up on High Ground, which is a comedy drama. It ran for one season in, uh, in first run syndication. Co-wrote six of the episodes, and it, took, uh, it, it focused around a high school, mainly between the battle between two, uh, two cliques uh, of girls, as well as uh, a couple of boys who work at the school who are recent college graduates and who are best friends but currently involved in dispute over their roommate. I, I like the show because it's very character driven and it shows positive ways that people resolve conflicts and also takes a close look at a, at a lot of the important social issues that affect people of uh, that age group today. So anyway, I, I just turned 46 years old on December 14th and I have a lot of regrets that I didn't discover that I wanted to be an actor far early in life, so now I'm trying to make up for it. Hopefully, I've got a lot more ahead of me. You know, I, I've worked worked throughout the Midwest, in Kentucky, Ohio, Illinois, Missouri, but, you know, the bulk of my work has been right here in Indiana, and I'm very proud of the great film scene that we have here in the state, and I think it's going to continue growing, and I would like to continue to 
be a, a great part of it as long as I'm able.